which is good for the oh what is that Hello, I'm back with another Friday evening cash stuffing. Last time it was not a good idea, so I don't know why I'm doing it again. <laughs> no, I do know why. I can't do it on Monday, that's why. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Esther at My Money Matters. This is cash stuffing stroke budgeting channel to inspire you to try it out yourself. It just really works if you are trying to save or trying to budget. Um, it's brilliant and I love it. So we're going to dive straight in. Now, I've been really lazy with my check-in diary and I've not updated it. I am keeping up to date with my budget. It's all on the computer. I just haven't transferred it into my book, which, as I'm pointing towards my book, reminds me I've had some happy mail this morning. So I'm just going to move my binders out of the way for a quick second. Let's get the happy mail out. So it came this morning in this envelope with this prettily packaged in this... Look at this gorgeous glitter paper, tissue paper. And even the washi. Dream plan do. Yeah. It's from my friend. So she sent me a little note which um, it says, You are awesome. Thank you for making a difference. How sweet. And inside, do you recognise these? I don't know if you saw back when um, I was kindly gifted the lovely Nora plush. Oh, if I remember, I'll pop a picture in here. And... Um, She's kindly gifted me these stickers. So we've got this cute little bookmark here, which I thought I could use for my, um, when I get around to updating it, my diary. Like that'd be super cute in here. Yes, April is not as blank as I hope. I've been, I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. It's just been a bit spendy, spendy. And it's really cute because you can just, um, it's magnetic and it's double-sided and you just do that. How cute is that? Gorgeous. There's Nora the pig inside her flower. And then here we've got, says spring. Let's see. Sorry, I know this is really noisy on screen. I should warn you before I actually do it. Oh, look at the little stickers. How cute. Oh, adorable. And then um, some more stickers here on a sticker sheet, some smaller ones. Totally editing the rustle out of the uh, the video. So these are like a matte finish. That's a really nice feel, actually. Very nice. So that's to add to my Nora collection. Oh, look at that stamp. Nearly showed you all my address then. Let's save that stamp. So I save stamps to charity. Um... There's some um, charities that will accept stamps, so it's worth finding out about them if you do get stamps in the post and you just supposed to leave a little bit of a gap around the edge. Fun fact. Right. Okay, I think I'm just going to do some housekeeping. I like saying that. Because <laughs> it's not proper housekeeping. It's, you know... Um, ah, so I had my last driving lesson on Wednesday. Yeah, it went quite well. I, I went on the motorway and um, I said to my instructor, I think that's it now. I think I'm, I'm good to go kind of thing. So kind of bittersweet, but more sweet to the fact that I can, you know, get going. And I feel like driving on the motorway wasn't too bad at all once you're on there. So it was just the roundabouts, which are always a little bit more tricky. So um, I'm going to take out the money from here and this is going to go back to bank. If I can get hold of that. So out comes the last £60 and this envelope is going to be retired as well. So I don't need lessons to learn anymore. Exciting. So I'm just going to do that now while I remember. Pop it into the back of the bank. Lovely. Okay, was there something else? Oh yes, I did spend some money from Car Cash. I did another cheeky Timu order. And I spent 15. Let's take out these nice fibres. So I'll show you that when it comes. That was from Car Cash. So Car Cash is any um, anything for the car, basically. That 
doesn't involve the actual anything for inside the car. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, pop that back to there. Right, lovely. That's that's that sorted. All right, so I've got some money in here. I've got three pounds. I sold something on Facebook, and my son gave me some of his loose change, which is grand. And I'm gonna empty the coins in the purse. I think I've only spent a fiver out of the the holiday money. My son got a chicken nugget voucher there. <laughs> So let's put this aside and restuff this for the week. That, that seems to be working well for me to just stuff again for the week, although I've got the holiday money, so that's good. Oh, talking of holiday money, my shop will be closed on Saturday. Why have I got just tenners in here? To, oh, there's the five. Um, Saturday to Saturday, my shop will be closed, so just FYI. Miscellaneous. Hmm. I'll just put ten in each of these and then I can spread them out if I need them. Okay, good. That's that. Let's get to the challenges. I'll get the challenge binders out. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I've forgotten to take out. Um, I've sold a few bits on Vinted and so. Um, the money sort of accumulated, so that was tw £20 from Vinted, so that's quite exciting. Um, I wonder if I should change stuff up, but I'll just see how I go. So, we've got a nice little watch of money here. 20, 30, 4, let's turn over around. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 to go to challenges, so that's nice. I saw on somebody's Instagram post that the... Um, the new King Charles notes will be in circulation. I think it's in June, possibly. So that's something to look forward to. Let's bring out the little change challenge from La Belle Budgets. I didn't decorate this one. Maybe I should decorate it. I'm not, I'm not a plain girl. I like things to be decorated and look pretty. Um, right, so we've got... Oh, this is good for the... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's an Isle of Man. Uh, how exciting. Don't think I've ever seen one like that before. I'm not going to dare pronounce the writing on it, because I can't. Um, oh, that was exciting. So, one, two, three, four, two, two peas. One, two, three, four. I know the excitement in my life gets us as exciting as an Isle of Man coin. Um, <laughs> two, five peas. Two, ten peas. Seven, twenty peas. Row completed. I've left penny. Oh no, she's getting heavy. I'm getting heavy, girl. That's a good sign. In the coinage goes. Emergency bank out as well. I'm so organised. Uh, <laughs> no 50p's this week. But I did, I did, um, what do you call them? Um, condense, that's the word I'm looking for. I did condense them. So we've got just two. Just about shows up on camera. And it goes into the emergency alarm. Wash that one around for a bit. Then we've got oh brilliant three pounds to go into the road trip. I might put in some more. I'm just going to see. Is this the, the right colour? I think it is. I'm just going to see how far we go with the other challenges before I commit. But I thought because these are pounds, I've just I've done it again, haven't I? I know that roll with it needs like two pounds or something. Oh, botherations. <laughs> Never mind, I've coloured it in, so we will carry on. So that's going to go in there. And that's from Charles Cash Budgets. Um, right, let's have a look at this roll it up situation. Five, six, seven, I mean. Right, actually we can do that because I've got some loose change. In the roll it up pouch I've got some change so I'm going to put in 
a tenner and take out three. Ooh, that's done. We can cross off a another 25. What should we do this time? Let's do a star. Okay, that's going to go into roll it up. I'm, this three pounds I'm going to put into the road trip. Nice. Good. Okay. So that's coming along nicely. We've got 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 pounds in the road trip. So the idea, I was going to put it into my car, but I'm just going to top this one up with a few challenges. And then when I've accumulated some challenges, then I'm going to do a um, redistribution. I am desperate to get this one started. So let's get this started. And this is for the jiving 50s. Each shape represents five pounds. So we'll stick in a fiver in there. Uh, let's push that to a side and we'll look at the binders, the, uh, these ones, first. And then we'll see what we're left with. Okay. Budgeting on the fly. So we've got a 15 and a 20. So if I did the 20 and the 15, that will leave me with three fives. Great. We'll do that. 15... There we go. Nice. So this, um, if you're watching, is going to go into my roll it up because it's taking so long. I want to just like put in a big amount into here. So I'll be nearer the thousand and that money will all go into next year's budget. So exciting if that gets done early. So that isn't up from just this year. I did start the roll it up last year. So it's, it's been one that's been going on for a little while. So 20 in here, okay. let's have a look at the £5 binder and um, we'll do, do we want to put all three in? Hmm, decisions. Right, what I'm going to do is put five in here. But not fill it in. It's going to be one of those surprise fivers. So when I come back to it again, I can fill out a bigger number. And then I'm going to put two fivers into this one. And this is from Essex Cash Stuffing. We're on our way. Are we halfway there? We are. We're halfway there. Whoa. Yeah, I'll leave that to uh, binders and cash. What's her name? Cash and binder. Elaine. You know, everybody knows Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, good. Hopefully I've edited out me blowing my nose about three times during the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and much less ums tonight, hopefully. Uh, take care. God bless you. I'll catch you soon. Happy cash surfing. Bye for now. What is that on my arm? A bit of spinach, I think. I don't want to see the spinach, do you? Um. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>